Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the gas station. This is Thursday, the 14th of March. <laughs> uh, lovely weather, I was 70 degrees again today. Of course this weekend, if I go out to the cabin, it's gonna be in the 40s uh, or 50s. I think Sunday the high is only going to be 50. We've had three days of 70 degrees sunny weather. So who knows what's going to happen. But I wanted to kind of give you an update on things and let you know, once again, I'm still around. I've been doing a lot of work on the house here. So I've been pretty busy working on house, working on cars, you know. Just too much going on to try to video. Uh, and that company, if you remember, the shed I did back behind the barn, Patio Well sent me that shed that I did a video on. And I guess they liked it well enough, they sent me another one, uh, six by eight of plastic shed of resin. And Alex and I built that in the backyard here in Wheeling. So that took a while and it sent that video off to them to get approval and get paid for it. Um, I did a couple other review videos. I'm waiting, uh, you know, I send the videos to them and make sure it's okay before I upload them. But it's, you know, it's just been, it's been busy, but not video producing busy. And uh, yesterday I went shed shopping with Alex. He's decided he's gonna buy a small, you know, 12 by 20 shed or something put it out at St. Bernard Acres to live in while he's building his house uh, or have a place to go to till he gets his house built. I mean, he won't live out there really. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's come together out there. It's springtime. It's getting where I could be out there working. I'm stuck here working, but uh, we're going to be getting it together. I've got the forms for the health department uh, to do the septic, which, you know, I paid $600, well, $550 to the soil scientist to <laughs> go out and do the report. And he told me where I should put the leach lines. So I called the health department to find out what my next step is as far as doing the septic. And, uh, I have to, the permit's going to be $500 for the permit and the design, they call it. What it is, I got to fill out this form. They gave me a list of uh, contractors that are registered with the county to do septics. So I got to call one of them. But first, I have to fill out this application and send the soil scientist report into the county. Then they set up a time to come out and do a site survey. And then they will design, uh, they will tell me what kind of solar or what kind of septic system I can put in. And then I have to get a hold of one of these contractors. They have to come out and do a design so that I can give that to the county and pay a $500 permit fee. Yeah, all of that costs $500. Uh, and then we can actually get to work on the septic. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it's a big mess, you know. But I mean, it, it's what you gotta go through. Because uh, I'm not trying to do anything under the radar. I'm not trying to, you know, I don't have any inspections or, or anything needed for my house. The permit to build my house is going to cost $5. That's it. Uh, there are no inspections. There are no codes that have to be used. You saw how I did my own electric. I just learned and did it. Um, but the septic has to be uh, inspected by the health department. And they come out once a year and inspect it. Now, I'm guessing, you know, 10 years ago, I talked to my... Uh, a friend that, that brought his bulldozer out and did some clearing for me. And he puts in septic systems. 
And back then he said, with all the permitting and everything, if he had to go through all that to put one in, he would charge about $2,500. I'm gonna guess now it's gonna probably be around $4,000 for a septic system. And the only good thing about that is once I get that septic system in, I get $5,100 back from the electric company. So that'll, you know, cover the, the cost. I mean, I have to put the money up front to put in the septic and then wait for the electric company to send that money back. Uh, I don't know how long it all takes, but that's the next step. I'll be sending her all the information tomorrow and then waiting to find out when I can get a day to meet them out for the site survey and then get a day when I can meet the contractor out there to go over everything. Um, so I don't know. Everything's just up in the air. It's, this is not a stress-free process, if you will. This whole building your own house, uh, and all the steps you have to go through. I have never been a contractor. I'm not a general contractor. I don't know shit about this stuff. So, so much of it is a learning process as well. Uh, but oh my goodness, is there a lot to go through? And it seems like the only person that's in a hurry is me. <laughs> Nobody else is in any kind of hurry to come out and do anything for you. So, you know, we have to live within their constraints as well. But I'm thinking that once I put the septic in and I get the money back from the county, then I'll have enough money to buy all my trussing materials and roofing and everything. Then I can be completely dried in. Uh, that's the goal. I'm still working on that. Hopefully this weekend, um, I'll get to be out there and do something. It was supposed to rain tonight. Uh, it looked like we were going to get a lot of rain. It rained a little bit and now it's done. I mean, sun's out. So I don't know. It may still rain overnight, but hopefully it'll be dry enough where I can actually, you know, do some work out there. I mean, I hate it every time I go out. It, now's the time for the clearing and the cleanup uh, before it all turns green and bushy again. But it's not been dry. I haven't had enough dry days to uh, do anything. So, yeah, I mean, again, this process can be uh, very frustrating also <laughs> when things don't cooperate with you like you want them to. But you know what? I mean, it just, it's all part of it. I don't, I'm, uh, I've said it many times, I'm very fortunate that my house here in Wheeling is paid for. It's not like I have to go somewhere or I'm on a time frame uh, that I have to go out and do something. So, you know, I, I don't have to rush it and I don't have to worry about being homeless. That's the important thing. But... You know, it, it'll be fun. Alex is going to be de clearing this weekend in his area. Uh, I'll show you while we're out there this weekend uh, where, you know, where he's going to put his cabin. And then we'll, you know, I already showed you where he's going to put his house, I think. But we'll go through all that again. Uh, I'm going to lay out my house, lay everything out, start leveling it. So I get some gravel put out there and blocks, start buying the blocks. <laughs> you know, for 10 years, every other ad I saw on Facebook was in Marketplace was for blocks, free, come and get them. Now that for two months, I even put a thing up on Facebook. I'm looking for, you know, blocks. I'll come and get them, you know, give me a price. Can't find any used ones now. So I'm going to have to start, uh, uh, you know, buying them at Lowe's or Carter Lumber or somewhere, just start taking out 20 or 25 every trip, uh, whatever I can, you know, put in the truck. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much 
the update on what's going on with Joe and St. Bernard Acres and the house and the cabin, uh, the dogs. I put up a clip of the dog. I'm going to add it in here, too. I absolutely love those dogs. So watch this. And also, I took some more corn out. I've never seen deer fight before. So you'll be able to see this one deer thought she was going to keep all the corn and was hitting the other deer, pushing them around, <laughs> trying to beat them up. Uh, kind of like my dogs do each other when it's feeding time. Boys, let's see if this works. Hey, hey, boys, come here, come here. Look, drop, drop, Rec Bentley, drop. Rex did. You, on the other hand, drop. Drop. Bentley, drop. Thank you. Good drop. Good boy.
All right, but yeah, I'm kind of thankful. I've been busy. I got things to do, and uh, work is work, you know. Working on my car. I hope y'all saw that video that Chevy Cruze. I what had happened. The reason why I wouldn't start that night, uh, and it wasn't worth doing a second, you know, part two video. It wasn't worth doing it. Uh, Mitch had pulled the ECM because it had sat there for about a year uh, waiting on that lady to come and pay for it. And she never did, but they didn't want her coming in one night and just taking it. Uh, like I said, it's $1,600 worth of work. So, we, uh, you know, I did the battery and everything, and then the next day put uh, the ECM back in it. And man, that thing, it runs so good. And what happened was the timing chain had broken. Now I found out what all was going on. And the timing chain basically exploded. <laughs> it went through the the timing chain cover, you know, uh, cracked the turbo housing. So it basically has a whole new top end. Uh, all new timing chain, timing gear, had the heads done, uh, new uh, head gasket kit, uh, new valve covers, uh, new turbo, thermostat, thermostat housing, I and mean, all that stuff had to be replaced. And uh, charge the uh, charge the air conditioner because I'd you know discharge it to do all that work, and to recharge it. Uh, fresh oil. I mean, it, they did a lot of work on it. So I'm very fortunate to get it for the price. Today, I started it up, drove it around the building and parked it back in there. Uh, the title, now the way this works, because somebody was asking about how are you going to get it titled. The way it works, it's been a four month process, but you have to you get these forms from the DMV. You have to fill all this stuff out. You have to send certified letters to the last known address. Uh, you have to send uh, a letter to the state where the car was uh, originally registered, which was Virginia. And uh, send a letter to the bank to make sure it was paid off. She paid off the loan for the bank, I guess, so she could buy another car. And she moved back to West or back to Virginia, and took a you know a better job, and just left us here. Had no desire for it. So, you know, I can buy it from the gas station. They can sell it, but only for what the amount of the bill was. They can't sell it for more money. That's why I'm getting it for what the bill was. Uh, they're not allowed, you can't do that kind of stuff and then put a lot of lot and try to make money off of people. You know, they don't go for that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to make a huge difference in my trips out there. Like I said, my truck is 12 or 13 miles a gallon. This gets 38. So I can make three trips for the price of one. Uh, that car will pay for itself in very short time. I only have to do the, the truck if I'm hauling something. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much what's going on. You know, I'm anxious to get back into YouTube and get this thing activated again and start start doing my videos. I have fun with that. Uh, and like I said, the, the work I've been doing here in Wheeling is not video type work. But we'll get it. I got a lot to talk about too, man. There's a lot of stuff happened that I wanted to do videos on, but... Uh, I just, I, 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 I've, like I said, I've been so bad, I don't even think about stuff, you know. But I will say this, you see where Family Tree or Dollar Tree or Tree, whatever the dollar stores are, you know the economy is bad and inflation is too high for Dollar Generals to be closing, Dollar Trees to be closing. They're closing like 600 of them. Uh, right away and then as the lease comes up on others or just letting the lease run out and closing them 
And they said, you know, part of the problem is inflation, you know, stubborn inflation, theft, and all of the extra money that the government was giving out in the snap cards and everything, they don't, that's not there anymore. So people aren't spending money like they were. You know, that'll give you an idea of the state of the economy. If, you know, don't listen to what Kareem Jump Pierre tells you or Biden tells you because it's not true. Uh, just because the inflation numbers might drop a little bit doesn't mean the prices are dropping. They're not stopping from going up because the core inflation numbers do not include food or gasoline. How convenient is that? They don't tell you that much, but it's Easter time. Go buy a dozen eggs. You want to know how much is going up? Go buy your Easter eggs. <laughs> Joe Biden's going to be having a potato roll instead of an egg roll at the White House because Peter was bitching. I don't know. I, you can't make that kind of shit up. You know? Hopefully, she can get her hand out of Joe's back because, you know, she's working the controls for his mouth. But she can do that and they can paint potatoes and roll them down the hill, I reckon. What a shame. It really is. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here, get ready to close up, head home. Appreciate y'all hanging around with me. I'm out.